Hello, sixth standard, CBC children. Have a good day. Have a nice day. I hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to do video number ten, continuation of the lesson, chapter nine, the living organisms, their characteristics and habitat. Okay. Now we know living organisms are plants, animals, and microorganisms their characteristics we have done in brief as living things breed living things grow living things reproduce living things respire living things moving from place to place and so on yeah now we know uh, things which have life having all these characteristics they are considered as living things and other as uh, things around you as table chair fan light in the picture la kuda paakrela in the video la adalla ac window anga or picture irukku but photo adu ellame non living things seriya so we will further discuss the differences between living and non living things their characteristic features seriya அடுத்தது வந்து ஹேபிடெட் ஹேபிடெட்னா என்னது த பிளேஸ் வேர் லிவிங் ஆர்கானிசம்ஸ் லிவ் அண்ட் திஸ் ஹேபிடெட் இட் இஸ் ஆஃப் டூ டைப்ஸ் நார்மலி ஆஸ் ஆசஸ் ஹேபிடெட் வில் கண்டெய்ன் பயோடிக் அண்ட் ஏபயோடிக் காம்பனன்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் பயோடிக் காம்பனன்ட்ஸ் ஆர் லிவிங் திங்ஸ் அண்ட் நான் பயோடிக் காம்பனன்ட்ஸ் ஆர் non living abiotic components are non living things seriya idla this habitat it is as aquatic and terrestrial habitat and madri one one nam undi kondu part video number 10 la we will continue so we are doing video number 10 chapter 9 the living organisms characteristics and habitat as second part seriya now here habitat is the surroundings where an organism lives and is of two types biotic and abiotic component biotic component enna sonne they are as plants animals that, that include microorganisms seriya and abiotic components they are air water wind light temperature there are abiotic components right now every organisms depends on biotic and abiotic components of its environment every organism depends on biotic and abiotic components of an organism okay every organism depends on biotic and abiotic components of its environment for its survival and the science that studies the interaction between in, interaction and interdependence of living and non living things in the environment is called ecology so i repeat the science that studies the interaction of or interaction between living and non living <coughs> things of the environment is called ecology che kannula varu mari mudiyadu okay this is ecology i repeat the science that studies the interaction and interdependence of living and non living things in the environment is called ecology i hope you understand this so now the biotic component as i said plants animals and microorganisms idilla plants will play a major role as plants are the producers they are also known as a uh, autotrophs autotrophs na they can prepare their own food seriya so plants are autotrophs and make their own food through the process photosynthesis and chlorophyll traps the energy in sunlight this energy is used to make food from the water and carbon dioxide so they are also known as producers right 
the next one it is consumers நாம் வந்து 6 standard இந்தில் first lesson food chain பற்றிப்போம் இல்லா as a series of energy level transferred from one tropic level to other that is the food chain as plants are the primary producers and that is eaten by primary consumers or herbivores and that is still eaten by secondary consumers and then tertiary consumers. This series of energy level transfer, transfer of energy level from producer, primary consumer, secondary consumer and tertiary consumers. These are also known as herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. They are forming a food chain. So, yeah. It is a these consumers, all animals are heterotrophs. All animals are heterotrophs. They cannot make their own food. And so they get their food directly or indirectly from plants. Directly in the grass-eating animals, herbivores are directly take their food. Indirectly in the food chapter. Primary consumers, herbivores, secondary consumers, so they are indirectly taking the plants. Herbivores are called primary consumers, while carnivores are called secondary consumers. Omnivores eat both plants and animals. Animals such as crows, vultures and hyenas that eat dead animals are called scavengers. Now, the word KD put to the Kadayad. So, Marlio, now put the right. Animals such as crows, vultures, and hyenas. Hyena on Jalla, hyena on Jalla. H Y E N E S. Hyena that eat dead animals are called scavengers. And they are playing an important role in keeping the environment clean. These scavengers keep important do important role in keeping their environment clean and also we come across a term decomposes decomposes fungi and bacteria break down or decompose the dead plants and animals into simple substances these simple compounds are absorbed by plants again to make food i hope you understand so, this is a brief introduction for <coughs> this biotic and abiotic components. Now, see this uh, picture. It is habitat. Different habitat. First one, <coughs> it is a desert habit. Name is the desert habit. desert habit. This is a domestic place, we have a residential area, we have a domestic place. So, there is a house and a small garden. This is a farm house. There is a field in the garden, so there is a farm house. This is a green field, so there is a farm house. This habitat is forest. This is a polar region, ice cold. Both in the earth and the opposite pole and the polar region. It is a forest area. This is wetland. This is tropical rainforest. Tropical rainforest and the moderate climate are for rumbo, hot or rumbo, cold or This is moderate tropical rainforest. This is savanna region ocean. So these are all different habitats. I hope you are able to follow this. Sorry. When the picture will change, even the, you can write off your own sentences. And on number CBC, even the, you do me magga pannaam the answers. When the brief answer, when the number six standard level are given, you need to by heart. Otherwise, you should know to write your own sentences, understanding the concept. Are you clear? You know, second go through panna desert. Domestic, farm, forest, polar region, ice cold, then wetland, that figure clear, like, wetland, tropical,
tropical rainforest savanna ocean sorry the next one it is this is aquatic habitat underground sorry underworld underwater habitat nariya these are all plants coral reef and these are all plants in uh, this uh, biotic components underworld organisms peri planktons seriya so these planktons animals ellam peri zooplanktons and uh, plants ke peri phytoplankton in underwater nariya periya maram kodi la irukku maram la irukku chinna chinna chediya irukku idella chinna chinna chedi appra paara illa underwater la paara irukum illa adha nariya the green parsi nu solluvom la andha maari nariya plants irukum these are all called phytoplanktons the green irukkellam peru phytoplankton mathapadi idella coral reef zooplankton idu vandu small fish big fish idukullayum oru food chain irukum aquatic form layum food chain irukum adukku peru first phytoplankton eaten by zooplankton and the zooplankton la first primary secondary tertiary adha vandu micro zooplankton small fish big fish and the mari food chain irukum so what you are seeing is the underwater planktons as zooplankton and phytoplankton right then this one again or habitat from the mountain region this is grassland habitat again polar region this is wetland marine habitat it is the urban urban area na metro cities la irukla angala indha mari periya 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 building multi story building apartment irukum adha urban area this is desert desert will have extreme hot climate this is again rain forest where we have moderate temperature moderate climatic condition as i said romba hot ah irukadu cold ah irukadu i hope you understand this yeah? so i repeat mountain habitat grassland grassland la undu romba trees irukadu grassland la trees irukadu anala undu animals they have to adapt themselves in such a way that they should run very fast so high speed is important for animals living in grassland in a for example or deer lion or elephant chase panni hunting ku varudena the deer has to hide itself illa appo there is no tree or any place for the animal to hide so it should have a very high speed of running so grassland animals ku high speed is important to escape from the enemies or predators right this is polar region ice cold wetland marine nariya and underwater la nariya theriyad par the idella underwater organisms right the urban already chelli ache desert rain forest or the go through panna or second go through the picture next we will are clear hmm? so first concept is habitat purinjukku terrestrial and mountain habitat terrestrial habitat tropical rainforest desert right aquatic la and marine wetland and normal coastal area and estuaries estuaries na the place where sea and river meet the next one again adena ko repeat aaruk nariya pictures kadachadunala na illa insert pannirken so this is habitat ena uh, solladhu every part of the web of life from arctic to amazon although estimated 50% of all species occur within one habitat tropical rainforest illa tropical rainforest la da nariya species irukku seriya so again it is the forest habitat ocean habitat idhula paru nariya underworld underwater species irukku par ocean habitat 
இது ஃப்ரெஷ் வாட்டர்ல இருக்கிறேன் ஃப்ரெஷ் வாட்டர்னா நல்ல தண்ணி ரைட் அகெயின் கிளாஸ் லேண்ட் போலார் டெசர்ட் இது வந்து மவுண்டன் சாரி இது மவுண்டன் டெசர்ட் போலார் வெட்லேண்ட் அதே தான் ரிப்பீட் ஆயிருக்கு பட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் நேச்சர் ஆஃப் பிக்சர்ஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் பண்ணிக்கோங்க அரே கிளியர் ஸோ ஃபாரஸ்ட் ஓஷன் ஃப்ரெஷ் வாட்டர் கிராஸ் லேண்ட் மவுண்டன் இங்கே சின்னதாக பேர் தொடங்குது பார் மவுண்டன் டெசர்ட் போலார் ரீஜியன் வெட்லேண்ட் அரே கிளியர் ரைட் த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இட் இஸ் பயோட்டிக் காம்பனன்ஸ் த லிவிங் காம்பனன்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ ஹேபிடெட் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பிளான்ஸ் அனிமல்ஸ் அண்ட் மைக்ரோ ஆர்கானிசம்ஸ் வெரஸ் ஏ பயோட்டிக் காம்பனன்ட் தே ஆர் நான் லிவிங் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஏர் வாட்டர் சன்லைட் டெம்பரேச்சர் அண்ட் விண்ட் சரியா ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் ஆல் ஏ பயோட்டிக் காம்பனன்ஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் we come across a term adaptation another we say animals are living in different habitats and they have to adjust themselves and they have to adapt itself themselves to survive in that particular area so the presence of certain specific features presence of certain specific features or habit which enables a plant or animal to adjust and live in that surrounding is known as adaptation i repeat the presence of certain specific features or habits which enables a plant or animal to adjust and live in its surrounding is known as adaptations i hope you understand so the place where an organism usually lives and grows in nature is called a habitat a habitat contains everything biotic and abiotic that an organism need so habitat can be aquatic or terrestrial seriya idilla each animal or plant has some features that help it to live in its habitat each animal or plant has some features to that help it to live in its habitat so it passes on these features to their young ones for example camel has a long leg with wide feet these features help it to live in desert and not in a forest so the process by which an animal becomes better suited to live in a particular habitat is called adaptation idu in the definition of easy ah irukku na read pandradum easy ah okay so the presence of certain specific features or habit which enable a plant or an animal to adjust and live in its surrounding is known as adaptations are it clear then there are different types of adaptations as terrestrial and aquatic terrestrial adaptation desert mountain grassland and tropical rainforest desert mountain grassland and tropical adaptation are it clear this is types of adaptation okay and then in aquatic adaptation we have aquatic adaptation la water covers more than 70% of earth surface and so aquatic habitat occupy a greater area than terrestrial one now more plants and animals live in water than on land the largest animal on earth the blue whale is found in the sea i hope you could follow this hmm? aquatic habitat can be further divided into marine water fresh water and coastal habitat based on the amount of salt present in the water right then marine habitat marine habitats are found in sea and ocean and different kinds of live, uh, organisms are present in the 
uh, aquatic habitat as i said earlier they are called plankton these plankton are phytoplankton and zooplankton right so animals like squid shark and whales swim in middle of the ocean i repeat animals like squid shark and whale swim in the middle of the ocean and animals like coral starfish and lobsters live in the bottom of the ocean as animals like coral starfish and lobsters live at the bottom of the ocean i hope you understand this hmm? then coastal habitat are found where the sea and land meet coastal habitats are place where the sea and land meet example beach estuaries and mangroves beach estuaries and mangrove are clear the next one is adaptations in desert habit idu vande normal ah the eyelashes ikku vande usually camel ku namma idra oru oru slide vittu adutha irundhathu two rows of long eyelashes are present in the camel so that in the sand kaath adikala manal kaath adik manal kaath bodu the sand allindu varu illa appo and the sand mannu vande kannukulla pogama irukkadhukaga it has rows of long eyelashes which protects against the blowing sand and the sun right idhula vande camel the desert oda example camel vande fats are stored in the hump idhu da hump the camel ude mudugu ipdi varudhu illa idhu da hump and it helps to function for the long time without food it stores water fat it stores fat and it is helpful to live in the desert for a long time without food right same way idu vande hoof chelluvalla and animals with the hoofed animal la adu vande the paadam paadam chelluvalla kaalla adu vande padichirukadu idu per hoofed animal mari renda polandu irukum so broad flat leathery pad at the bottom of the hoof long flat leathery pad at the bottom of the hoof this is for camel sir where one minute wait camel for nimsha camel ku vende nama book le figure irukke camel undu adhe solra so now in a desert desert animal ku in a there are desert animal like rat and snakes and also camel which do not have so rat and snake which do not have long leg legs like that of a camel to stay away from the intense heat during the day they st- stay in burrows deep in the sand these animals will come out only during night whereas camel it, it is adapted in such a way that it can store fat in its hump their legs are hooved so that it can walk freely and thick leathery pads on the knees protect it from getting burned when it heals on the hot desert i hope you are able to follow this huh? then camels the idu you vandu know, camel ku whereas desert plants vandu namu book la irukku idu mattum paathukku idu vandu plants with a different habitat plants in different habitat where desert plants lose very little water through transpiration desert plants lose very little water through transpiration the leaves in desert plants are either absent or reduced to spines and this helps in preventing transpiration what is transpiration evaporation of excess water from the leaves okay 
and the leaf like structure example cactus under the cactus plant this cactus is actually the stem open share nama padichukonga practical la varum open share the flattened stem in open share stem is flattened doing the function of photosynthesis whereas the leaves are reduced to spines i hope you are able to follow this and so this is for the adaptations of plants in different habitat right one minute adaptations of desert plant happened in desert plants like cactus store water in their stems the leaves are modified to spine and cannot carry out photosynthesis the spines protect the plants by from eating by animals another one the trees in the desert region will have long thick develop uh, the long thick tap root system which grows deep into the soil so that it can store water okay whereas desert animals first one the camel we have different pictures of camel first one so camels have high body temperature so they do not sweat i repeat camels have high body temperature and so they do not sweat their lung dung is also dry and they ex excrete only very small amount of urine and the long legs keeps the body away from the hot sand and broad feet do not let the camel to sink in loose soil the camel nam ipo picture paathen illaya na appave idu chollittu na utta time paathuko the long legs keep the body away from hot sand and broad feet do not let the camel sink into the loose soil the long eye lashes first picture kaamichirundhe adhe the long eye lashes protect the eye from flying sand during sandstorm right then animals such as jack rabbit have long ears to lose to lose heat to the surrounding and many of the smaller animals are active during uh, night they are called nocturnal animals animals which are active during night time they are called nocturnal animal and animals which are active during day time they are diurnal animal right then adaptations in grassland par adaptations of animals in grassland some animals are very small such as mice dog snake lizard and snake in six these animals can easily hide in grasses there are large animals such as elephant lion zebra giraffe cheetah these these animals are too large to hide in the grasses so they protect themselves in different ways edala they have high speed or camouflage high speed na they will run fast camouflage na they change their body color according to the surrounding pachcha undi chunnulya that is they change their body color right some animals like elephant giraffe and rhinos are also large that predators cannot easily attack a healthy adult many animals live in large groups this gives protection from predators there are more rice to spawn danger and strong members around the places right so here adaptations of grassland animal there are only few trees and shrub in this habitat and so animals living here like deer and zebras have to run fast to escape from the enemies like the lion so high speed is very important animals like elephant and zebra stay in groups for protection and some animals they live in burrow to keep safe from enemies and forest fire and many animals use camouflage to hide in grass the lions light brown color and the tiger strip make it difficult to see them in grasses okay and then some animals like wild beasts migrate thousands of kilometers in search of food and water and some animals are nocturnal as i said so this is for animals living in grassland habitat 
அதே மாதிரி இதுல கிராசஸ் பாரு இது வந்து கிராசஸ் ஹவு கிராசஸ் ஆர் growing னு போட்டுருக்கு இது கிராஸ் ரைட் சோ இதுல வந்து ரைசோம் ஸ்டூல் ஆன் ரூட் இது வந்து ரூட் சிஸ்டம் நம்ம வந்து அண்டர் கிரவுண்ட் மாடிஃபிகேஷன் படிச்சோம் இல்லையா ரீப் ரீப் ரீப்ரொடக்ஷன் இன் பிளான்ட்ஸ்ல ஏரியல் அண்ட் சப் ஏரியல் மாடிஃபிகேஷன் படிச்சிருக்கோம் அதான் ஸ்டோல் ஆன் அண்ட் ரைசோம் ரைட் சோ கிராசஸ் க்ரோ ஃப்ரம் த பிரேர் பேஸ் கிரீப்பிங் ஸ்டெம்ஸ் அபவுட் த கிரவுண்ட் ஆர் கால் ஸ்டோல் ஆன் இது வந்து கிராஸ் இதுக்கு பேரு ஸ்டோல் ஆன் த கிரீப்பிங் ஸ்டெம்க்கு பேரு ஸ்டோல் ஆன் அண்ட் தோஸ் பிலோ த கிரவுண்ட் தே ஆர் கால் ரைசோ and as creeping stem spread out shoots grow up and produce leaves the deep spreading root system make sure that even in drought plants are able to get water and long narrow leaves like grass do not lose as much water as in heat as the big leaves i hope you understand this uh, the next one submerged plants water sorry plants which are fully merged immersed in water they are called submerged plants example hydrilla sonale aquatic plant when they are fully submerged aquatic habitat la when the plants are fully submerged they are called submerged plant if these plants are removed from the water they hang simply and they are normally supported by water all around them and they no need mechanical sense because they are floating within the water so it is submerged water okay so aquatic plants are either submerged in water or floating and floating on the surface some of them are attached to the soil at the bottom example hydrilla they are fully submerged in water but it is floating and uh, roots of aquatic plants are not well developed since main function is anchor plants of soil or help it to float in water and submerged plants prefer food using sunlight that filters through the water and thannikulla plant and the every sunlight kedaikum so when it filters the light it is getting sunlight for preparing food by the process photosynthesis then submerged plants like hydrilla have thin narrow leaves which are needle like and they don't get torn due to the movement of the water whereas in plants like valisneria it is long narrow ribbon shaped leaves right now this is floating plants as those which are rooted with floating leaves example water lily and those which are not rooted but just floating on the surface and the lotus or duckweed floating leaves are generally tough because they have to withstand the weather and water movement illi kuduthirukken na padike venda thirupi right stomata are found on only on the upper surface of the leaf what is stomata they are bean shaped structure with the gourd cell and they are helpful in exchange of gases what are the gases to be exchanged for photosynthesis and respiration carbon dioxide is taken in oxygen is given out during photosynthesis during respiration oxygen is taken in carbon dioxide is given out and during transpiration evaporation of excess water in the form of water vapor that is also done through stomata right then this one adaptations of animal in aquatic habitat animal in aquatic habitat illa undu nareya irukum first fish have streamlined body covered with scales which help them to move easily streamlined body for fish then some fish have air bladder they move different depth by changing the amount of air in it then whales and dolphin use flippers and their tail for swimming in the flipper the webbed feet mari irukla in the flipper whales and dolphin use flippers and their tail for swimming and turtles move through water using paddle 
and frogs and many water birds have webbed feet to swim in water many aquatic organisms take dissolved oxygen directly through their skin for respiration and many aquatic organism fish have gills which they use to take dissolved oxygen from the water whereas it is important for it whales and dolphins have lungs and breathe through a blow hole whales and dolphins have lungs and breathe through blow hole on the top of the head and they come to the surface of the water to breathe they come to the surface of the water to breathe are you clear so these are all animal adaptation in aquatic habitat next one the living things pathi illake oru nimisham so idla nama adaptations of terrestrial habitat la undu desert habitat and then rain forest habitat rain forest habitat la enna solradhu oru nimisham alade plants ku the trees ella nalla well formed ah irukum and the adaptation undu nama book refer panna whereas adaptation in rain forest adla undu animals living on trees are very common in Uh, aquatic uh, sorry rain forest animal and then one more you have to see monkeys living on tree jaguars are good good swimmers and can live on trees during flood and birds like idu na utti tend over slide paathuko birds like hornbill tucker and macaw have strong beaks to crack the hard nuts and eat fruits and they have a claws to perch on trees and nest in the tree trunk right then we come across a term camouflage chameleon and insect use camouflage to hide from their enemy what is camouflage it is a way of hiding by seeming to be a part of the surroundings are you clear so this is for adaptations of rain forest habitat now what you are seeing is living things living things need air water food and sunlight to survive example plant animals microbes and human being right so these living things characteristics living things need air water and food they can grow they can move of their own from place to place idle animals will move from place to place in search of food and shelter whereas plants will not move from place to place but they can move their plant parts that is movement and they can respond to stimuli that that is irritability we come across a term irritability and uh, they can respond to stimuli that is changes around them and uh, they are sensitive irritability ki vande first stimulus and response abina enna artham when you touch a hot object we find a hotness that is stimulus right and what is the response immediately you take out your hand so irritability will have stimulus and response another example touch me not plant sonnu when you touch a plant totta churungi chulume it immediately closes its leaf right so characteristics of living thing need air water and food they can grow they can move of their own then they respire they excrete they reproduce and they have a definite life span life span na how long the living organisms live that is called life span right the next one say for plants it's a living thing it can prepare its own food by the process photosynthesis abhi na nare photosynthesis plants prepare food with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll carbon dioxide water sunlight and chlorophyll are the essential organ essential uh, material and uh, carbon dioxide and water are the raw material this is for the uh, basic need of food then this one is plants 
sorry living organisms grow where plants difference between growth in plants and animals vandu plants will grow throughout their life whereas animals will stop growing after attaining maturity seriya so here the young ones of a living organism grow or increase in size as time passes and uh, plants the seeds grow up and become mature plant in future whereas animal babies grow up to become strong animal like their parents and uh, human grow up to become a strong adult till their parents okay so the growth of the plant and the respiration sorry germination of a seed so when the seeds are germinated so in the mari growth one this is growth of a plant animal ku vandu na illa picture la illa ana chinna baby the new born baby la rendu adult varaikku adu rendu growth in animal right and there is a difference in growth in living and non living thing for example illa illa ana purinjuko you take a beaker with a little water and then you take a uh, crystal uh, or a penna uh, inorganic substance called copper sulfate nama book la irukke kaatra copper sulfate vandu or chinna or chinna piece eduthu adha noolala katti adha thannikulla thonga vidu and then and the thannile konja copper sulfate karchi vechaina the crystal will grow appo numerous the copper sulfate crystal vandu adha grow panni adila ottikum சரியா so a crystal can grow but it is the addition of substances from external medium same way clouds irukla meham clouds will grow but it is not a living thing crystal copper sulfate it is not a living thing but it can grow i hope you understand hmm? so idla vande the clouds move it can grow grow na the chinna meham apdi perusa illa adu whereas clouds will move river water will move but they are not living thing because they are not capable of having they don't have living characteristics though they show movement they are not living thing same way mobile and uh, the touch screen irukla it shows movement but it is not a living thing atm la touch screen irukke idella living kedaiyadu because they do not they are not capable of life apdinu eludanam i hope you understand hmm? the next one response to stimuli chonnella all living things respond to changes around them as example it when the touch me not plant tottar chirungi chunnula it when the normal leaf it when the totta vadane leaf moodi indrutha par so this is response to stimulus or irritability it when the normal ah irukku tholradhu when the stimuli adu vadane moodi kiradhu when the response so eppozhume irritability will go with the stimulus and response idhe with the when it touch a hot object immediately we take out our hand and yeah and the yeah, response to stimulus okay the next one it is <clears throat> the definite life span every organisms will have definite life span for example human being na for 100 years seluva yeah human being will have 100 years varaikkum ipo even more than that there are people living yeah or 103 105 varaikkum kuda they are living and mari nama book la irukku or or life span of if nama na cube la kuduthiruken life span of human sorry living organisms that you will go through i hope you understand this huh? the next one is ena uh, solla like this is about the living organisms characteristics and habitat so nama in the session la we have seen in the video number 10 la what is a habitat na padikirom the place where organism sorry one minute the environment is made up of both biotic and abiotic component all organisms make up the 
biotic component all a biotic components make up the plants animals and microbes whereas non biotic a biotic and air water soil wind temperature etc and study of the relationship between biotic and abiotic environment of the environment is called ecology habitat and the place where living organisms usually live so under that we have learnt uh, different habitat and then as uh, terrestrial and aquatic other adaptations for church living things characteristics for church i hope you are able to follow this so this is video number 10 where we have learnt living organisms characteristics and habitat i hope you understand yeah? so go through the lesson as usual number doubt clearing session go there now on the whatever doubt you have that you will clarify sir so i will continue in the next video session thank you